Hi, good to see all of us. Good to see us. Please, can you let me know where you are listening to this conversation from? I want to talk about why people accept crumbs in relationships. Why people accept crumbs in relationships. I've been taking it easy. I first of all had a sore throat and it looked like I was down with a fever. But I'm okay. I'm okay enjoying my life and I decided to come talk to you this afternoon. It's about 1 p.m. thereabouts in the city of Dallas. I want us to talk about why people accept crumbs in relationships. Why people accept crumbs in relationships. Good to see all of us in the house. Please represent your country. Where are you listening from? Where are you listening from? Canada is in the house. United States is in the house. Nigeria is in the house. Thank you so much, Tomiwa, for the kind words. So why people accept crumbs in relationships? Why people accept crumbs in relationships? Maybe I should start with a question. Why do you think people accept crumbs in relationship? Or what makes people accept crumbs in relationships you know you are in a relationship with someone and the person is emotionally not available meaning the person is not present they do not prioritize you they do not create time for you but somewhere along the line you are still in the relationship with them why do you think people accept crumbs in relationships why why do you think people accept crumbs in relationships? Talk to me. Why do you think people accept crumbs in relationships? I can tell you some reasons why people accept crumbs in relationships. Okay, real one says basically for survival in most cases, yeah. One of the reasons why people accept crumbs in relationships is first of all, they do not even know what a relationship should feel should taste should look and be like and one of the reasons for that is not everybody was raised with love not everybody was raised with loving custodians or loving parents or in a loving environment so if you're not used to love or if you're not raised in love or raised with love you really do not even know what the standard should be you won't know what the standard should be. So when you step into a relationship, the first thing that jumps out to you is that you are thankful that, oh, at least I'm in a relationship. And then the condition and the conditioning and the programming makes you feel like at least you're in one. You are better than people who are not in any. And then nobody is perfect. That's what the conditioning says. So manage. Just keep managing, you know, the devil you know is better than the angel you don't know. All of those conditionings are there. And you begin to feel grateful for the crumbs that you have. You begin to feel grateful for the crumbs that you have because, first of all, you were not raised with love, you were not raised in love, so you don't even know what to expect. And then you manage whatever is thrown at you or given to you and you just stay there then at any point when you want to leave the mindset is what will people say so people stay in relationships where they accept little or nothing or they are offered little or nothing or they are in relationships with emotionally unavailable people because first of all they do not even know what a relationship should be like and because they have no idea, they haven't studied the etymology of the word relationship, they haven't studied that, okay, relationships are expected to be based on friendships. And then from friendships, you have the kindness, you have compassion, you have empathy, you have all of the beautiful things that are meant to be like the foundation of a relationship. But since a good number of us were not raised in love and with love and around love, we tend to be scavengers, emotional scavengers, 
just looking for the tiniest attention we can hold on to attention affection and say oh at all at all i am bad past meaning at least something is dropping at least he calls me once in a week he calls me once in four days at least he even sent me a text at least when i was ill he sent me flowers at least at least we begin to create excuses for them even though it is obvious that these people do not prioritize us these people are not in a relationship with us but somewhere along the line we're hoping that our love is enough to change them we are hoping that we can love them enough for them to respect us for them to value us for them to change for us for them to do all of those things if you're listening to me today and you are in a relationship and the person isn't prioritizing you i just want to know what is making you stay Why are you with someone who is not prioritizing you? Why are you with someone who doesn't enjoy the news of your success? Why are you with someone who takes pleasure in dimming your light? Talk to me. Hmm? Talk to me. What's making you stay in a relationship where the person who is meant to be your partner is not available? They are not there as your friend. They are not there as your lover. They are not there as an advisor. They are not there in the capacity that you desire that they should be there. What is friendship without presence? I didn't say presence. I didn't say gifts. I said presence. What is friendship without attention and communication? So people stay where they are not respected and loved because of childhood trauma. They will stay there because they do not know otherwise. And that's why I brought this gospel to you today. You do not have to stay where you are not celebrated. You do not have to stay with someone who dims your light. You do not have to stay with someone who doesn't enjoy the news of your success. And the only reason you need to leave is because you deserve more. You are not leaving for your children. You are not leaving for all those reasons. You are leaving because you deserve more. And this is not gender related. You are leaving a relationship that is extinguishing your light because you deserve more. You cannot be in a relationship where they are offering you crumbs. Crumbs of attention, crumbs of affection, crumbs of respect, crumbs of honor, crumbs of loyalty, crumbs of faithfulness. They make it look like they are doing you a favor, being faithful to you. They are doing you a favor, loving you. They are doing you a favor, calling you. A relationship is not stressful relationships are intentional engagement of two people by two people who chose to be together as friends as lovers as whatever and once one person feels burdened once one person is acting single in a marriage or once one person is acting single in a relationship then lose the person and let the person go it is scriptural <laughs> Lose him and let him go. Lose her and let it go. Do you understand? Let them go. Let him go. Let her go. Let them go. You deserve more is a good reason to live where they are. you are not being celebrated. Why are you celebrating the fact that you are in a relationship with someone but someone calls you once in four days? Some of us actually celebrate the fact that our spouses are raising their own children. You know, sometimes women say, oh, my husband is helping me with child care or my husband is helping me with the children. No, he is not helping you. Your husband is playing his role as their father. If he is their father, he is doing what fathers are supposed to do. You can say thank you, but you cannot say he's helping you. That is his role. 
You cannot be cleaning your house as a man and you're saying you are helping your wife. That is your house. You are cleaning your house. You are cleaning your house. So let's start taking things in proper perspective. When a man is doing what men should do, appreciate them, but they are not helping you. No man is helping you take care of his children. They are his children. He's taking care of his sperm. They came out of him. He is taking care of what came out of him. Do you understand? <laughs> the same way you are taking care of what came out of you. He is doing his part. He is not helping you. He is doing what fathers are supposed to do. When he is cleaning his house. He is not helping his wife clean the house. It is called house care. He lives there. He's not in a hotel. He lives in the house. He's not helping his wife do laundry. No, he is doing laundry. Nobody is helping. You know, it's like a husband and wife having sex and the wife is saying, I'm helping my husband have sex. No, that's how strange it is to women. Wise women. If your husband and wife are having sex, does the wife say after the sex, I just helped my husband have sex? That's how strange it sounds. And this is me being respectful. There are other words I can use that I'm not using. How can you be cleaning the house you live in? And you're saying you are helping your wife clean the house. No. You are cleaning your house, my darling. You are not helping your wife or taking your wife to the grocery store, helping her. No, you are shopping for your family. You are going to eat from whatever she buys, even if she buys it with your money. Do you understand me? So men and women, we are no longer going to settle for crumbs in relationships. And every spirit within you that wants to settle, I will not permit it. Crumbs of affection, crumbs of attention. Oh, oh, you know, he's trying and he's trying means he calls you once in three days. And then you say, oh, it's because he's busy. He's talking to other people. You are the one he's not talking to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's going to hurt you. Yeah. You are the one he's not talking to. He's talking to other people. You are the one he is not calling. He is calling other people. You are the one he is not texting. He is texting other people. You are the one he is not prioritizing. He is prioritizing other people. I know that he's hurting you. I know that it's painful to accept. But that is what it is. And when a man wants to cheat, let him cheat. Meaning, let him go and find his happiness somewhere else. And release yourself from that shackle. Do you understand me? When a man wants to cheat, let him manifest his cheating skills. Leave him and let him go. He wants to find happiness outside. Let him go and find his happiness. Do you understand? And find your happiness somewhere else without him. We are not going to settle in 2024. You are not a settler. You are not a digital nomad. You are not a hustler of emotions. You are not looking for crumbs. Jesus died for you. Do you know what it is for God to send his son to die for you? Like a whole you, Jesus died for you. Jesus did not die for you, for you to settle for crumbs in a relationship. When they say they are busy all the time, they don't want to talk to you. They don't have the courage and the boldness to say, I don't want to talk to you. I am just keeping you on reserve. You are on the reserve bench. Where the treasure of a man is, 
his heart is there. Do you understand? When you are important to someone, you will know, you will feel it, you will taste it, you will touch it. When you are not important to them, you will know. And when you know, don't pretend not to know. Don't pretend not to know. Don't act like you are not wise. You are a wise person. How can Jesus die for you, for you to be saying your boyfriend is, has been so busy, hasn't called you for four days? Even the president talks to people. You know why I know? I have worked for three presidents before. Do you understand? I've worked for three before and I know that they have time. I know they have time. People have time for people who are important to them. When you are not important to someone, they will not have time for you. They will not create time. You cannot settle in a relationship. And if there's anything within you that is settling, please find a therapist to work with. Working with a therapist is not demonic, is not destructive as a man, as a woman. It simply means that you want to remove the emotional cobwebs disturbing you from flying and manifesting. You want to untangle your past so that you can fly into your future. Do you understand? You cannot be in a relationship where they have forgotten you. <laughs> like, what are you doing there? You will now be praying, Lord, let him remind me. Some of you will even pray and fast. You will go to the mountain top because of what? Jesus died for you. Behave well. You deserve more than that. If you are in any relationship that they are not creating time for you, today is that day where you can say to yourself, because I deserve more, I am exiting this environment. If someone said to you that you were living with a terrorist, a terrorist, would you stay there? If someone said to you that a wicked person was in your space, would you stay there? So what are you staying there for? To manage what? And hoping that people will change? Are you serious? You are not going to stay in a relationship where you are not being celebrated. Mm -mm. And I'm not going to let you keep saying, oh, because of my childhood trauma, because of my childhood trauma. Yes, I understand it. But then when are we going to embark on that journey of healing the childhood trauma? After identifying the childhood trauma, we need to fix what we have identified. If not, we're going to repeat that statement next year and every year becomes the year of childhood trauma. Do you understand? You deserve more. You deserve more in knowing how to choose the person or the people you want to share your life with. Friendships or relationships are based on friendships. Friendships are based on shared values and likeness and respect and empathy and compassion. When all of those ingredients that show that people are human are missing, you should not be found in that environment. How can you be dating an unkind person? How can you be dating a wicked person or someone who tells lies? It's one thing not to know. Now that you know what is making you stay there, anyone who can lie has the tendency to steal, has the capacity to kill because they are already used to covering up things and they will keep looking for avenues to cover up and increase their mechanizations and tools to cover up. Do you understand? The ingredient of humanity in any friendship or relationship is straightforward. Kindness, shared values, respect, meekness, compassion, empathy. Once you start seeing manifestations that look like unkindness and wickedness, 
you should excuse yourself. And there's no other reason than to say, I deserve more. I deserve more is enough reason to leave a relationship that is destroying you and a marriage that is destroying you. I deserve more. No explanation, nothing beyond that. I deserve more. Why are you in an emotionally destructive environment? You guys are cursing each other every time, insulting each other every time. Can you please go for counseling? Can you please go for marriage counseling, therapy? And if you've gone for all those things and both of you are still turning your relationship into a war zone, then either of you should just leave. Jesus did not die for you to come and be an emotional rascal or for you to be killed in a relationship. There's no honor in dying for someone who will remarry once your body is in the mortuary. What are you wasting your time and energy for? Where you are not needed, where you are not wanted, where you are not respected. Let me tell you something. My superpower is my self-preservation skill. My self-preservation skill is my superpower. You will never find me where they move strangely because i don't move strangely once i see that you are not in tune with humanity and normalcy i will excuse myself and the only reason why i'm excusing myself is tied to the statement i deserve more i do not settle in friendships or relationships i do not serve the worst and expect the best no I offer the best and I expect the best. And everything that I'm requesting for is what I give. I would never give and then hope that I will receive. I have more value than that. And I know my value. I will never stay where someone is pretending to prioritize me. No. I've already been prioritized by God. Jesus died for me. I was raised with love. My mother raised me with love. My sister raised me with love. I have love in front. I love myself. So what is going to make me suddenly despise and hate myself? For what? I'm not going to be thankful that you squeezed out 30 seconds to send me a text in 24 hours no there are people you spoke to during the day you didn't speak to me there's people there are people you've spoken to this week you didn't speak to me you are talking to people it is me you are not talking to you are communicating it is me you are not communicating with and i've received the memo i'm a wise child i have received the memo we are going to fight about it. We can talk about it. But guess what? I will never stay where I am not celebrated. I will not stay where I'm not honored. I ain't going to manage anything. I will not settle for anything. Do you understand? So the basic ingredients of humanity, watch out for them in friendships and in relationships. Why are you thankful that somebody you're in a relationship with is talking to you once in three days? So, oh, oh, I've been so busy. I've been so busy. Busy doing what, my darling? Busy doing nothing. Busy watching Netflix. Busy hanging out with friends. <laughs> busy enjoying your life. You are busy forgetting who you are supposed to prioritize. I'm going to be thankful that you're squeezing me in your day or squeezing me in your life. I'm not a handbag. I'm not an accessory. I'm a human being. <laughs> human being raised and prioritized by love and with love. I'm not an accessory. How can you see someone like me and you want to squeeze me in your life? No. No. Let's act better Let's serve other people better. Let's demand better. And it starts with you. I don't ask for what I cannot give. 
everything I ask for is everything I give. So once I'm not getting it, I'm exiting. And I'm going to inform you before I exit. So just in case we can talk about it, we can fix it. I'm available. But once I see that the conversations I'm fixing things, I will not settle. You have just one life. If you are not loved in this life, when will you be loved? <laughs> I don't get it. Your second coming? Have you got a second coming? <laughs> if you are not loved in this life, this life, this life, when are you going to be loved? If you are not pampered in this life, when will you be pampered? If you're not treated like the princess and the queen and the king that you are, when will you be treated well? If you are not giving someone butterflies and someone is screaming when they see you or something, when will you be loved? If you are managing love, when are you going to experience love? When? When? Come up higher. You deserve better, my darling. You ain't going to settle for anything. Come up higher. You deserve better. You know the reason why? There are many men and women amongst 8 billion people who were raised well, who were raised properly, who initially had trauma and went for therapy and embarked on their healing journey. And they are now healed and they are healing. Who can treat you better? So you do not have to settle. Anybody that tells you to settle is after your life. Anybody that tells you to settle is after your life. Anybody that tells you to settle is after your life. You do not have to settle. Mm -mm. I will say that again. Anybody that tells you to settle, settle for crumbs in relationships to not prioritize yourself to pretend you do not exist for the sake of peace hell no hell no there's no peace without justice peace is not emotional pretense peace is not emotional suppression peace is not denial emotional denial peace is you saying that mm -mm, I need to be assertive. I need to let you know how I feel about what is going on. Can we discuss this? Can we deal with this? Can we fix this? Peace is you understanding that you must choose yourself at every point in time. You matter. Your life matters. You matter. And you deserve better. So thank you so much for joining. If you want to join my professional tribe, please send me a DM. It's an annual tribe and the investment fee is $400. If you desire to join my professional tribe, send me a DM. You can get more details. It is a paid tribe. Please, a paid professional tribe. It is an annual tribe. The investment fee is just $400. If you desire to join, please send me a DM. I'll see you some other time. Till then, remember not to settle for crumbs or anything in a relationship because you deserve more. I am rooting for you. I care about you. And go ahead and enjoy your life.